Welcome back to GearWire.com. My name is Bill Holland, and this is the PGX-1 with PGX-4 receiver by Shure Microphones. This is a really cool wireless system. Um, you'll notice I have my little mic with a little foam rubber ball up here. Now, this is the front address mic. There's only a little hole up front to take in the sound. I suppose it's possible to get a different microphone from Shure just by ordering the right receiver or a different microphone for it. Now, if you open up the battery compartment here, you'll notice there's a little sink thing. It's not really a button, though. It's just a little, little screen. The reason for that is, on the front here, you'll notice there's a button that says sync as well. And you'll see where it says read over here. Now, watch what happens if I hit this button. I line it up here. Okay, do you hear me? What happened there is this unit just said, okay, let's scan the frequencies that we know we can handle within the immediate range and see which one's clear and then it assigns it to this wireless pack. So let's say you're in a live situation, you have like 12 to 14 actors in a musical on stage with different wireless units. If you use this, they won't be interfering with each other because you'll be able to automatically know which one's on each channel so you won't have to go down the row of receivers and say, okay, where's this at? You can go right through and program each one when you hand it to the actor and it's ready to go. If you're doing a spoken word situation, same thing. You have people on stage, each person is scanned and they're ready to go. There shouldn't be any interference. Now on the back, um, something that isn't offered on a lot of units is an actual unbalanced line out with a balanced line out. You know, a lot of units you get a balanced line out, but here you also have the option to go quarter inch to the board. It's a very, very nice addition, uh, especially if you have a board that doesn't, doesn't have enough XLR inputs on it. You do have that option. On the front you have channel selection for changing up the channels manually and then you can resync to your unit. I actually just did that. Uh, during the close-up, I stopped the tape and I resynced this and now I'm through channel three. Pretty cool that you can do it that quickly. Also, we have the mute button on top. And here I am again. One thing to note though, again, live situation, actors, somebody has this stuffed inside of their underwear because they're wearing, you know, barely anything on stage or it's on their back and they're getting all sweaty. Throw some gaff tape on that, that way they don't hit it. Same with just regular speakers on stage. It's always good because people uh, tend to think that, oh, well, you know, I should be turning this on and off. You don't want them doing that. I'm sure as a sound designer you know that, but go ahead, just throw some gaff up there. You know, if they need to go to the bathroom and it's really that bad, I'm sure they can figure out how to take it off, but otherwise you don't want them backstage turning this on and off. So, also we have a minus 10 pad. It can be zero or you can have it set to mic. So it provides a different, oh. That's ridiculous. And there's normal, and there's with the pad on. So again, I'm going to switch it back to zero. And again, nice little, very large belt clip. So you can put it on a lot of different things, not just a regular belt. And that's pretty much it. A really useful unit from sure, the PGX-1 and the PGX-4. I'm Bill Holland, and you're watching GearWire.com.